Hey y'all, today I'm bringing you the most juiciest, flakiest salmon you can make. So first you need to take it out the package and then rinse it off in cold water. And as you see now, I already did that and I am just drying it with a paper towel. I do that to get any excess water off of it, but also so that when I put it in the pan, um, it crisps up, the skin crisps up. So in the pan right now I have butter, and seasoning but right now I need you to wash your hands because you just touch some seafood so wash your nasty hands with some soap and water because coronavirus is still here and we don't need salmonella on top of that so now we got your nature seasoning all my black folks we call that blue top and I was trying to show you what's in there hopefully you can see all that um, but you don't have to use that use what works for you we got some garlic salt yes yes um, and I'm trying to show you what's in there. Hopefully you can see that. But also just use your favorite seasonings. And then we have some paprika or some paprika, as the old folks say. And then we also have some dill, which is my personal favorite. I love me some dill weed. And yeah, you can find this anywhere. It's dried dill weed and you can put as much on it as you want. I put a whole bunch and you will see that later and some cayenne pepper for some spice y'all cayenne pepper and then we have some sesame seed because i just want it to be extra and put sesame seed on my salmon because that's my business now that we have all our seasonings together i'm going to show you my potatoes my for the mashed potatoes that's going to go with the salmon i am going to drain that um but first I turn on the cold water and then drain it. And now we're gonna check on the salmon and make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. I have a non-stick pan, so it shouldn't, but I just want the butter to move around. And you cook it five minutes each on both sides. So now I have my mason jar as my masher because I don't have a potato masher. Now y'all don't get on me, it works and you'll see. And then we're gonna add our garlic salt, but you can use garlic powder and salt if you're trying to control your salt um, on your salmon. And then we're gonna sprinkle it with some cayenne pepper and some paprika, some paprika, and our little blue top seasoning. There's our nature seasoning. And then our dill weed. And I'ma just go real hand with that, real heavy handed. Look at all that, look at it though. I wish y'all can smell it. Get into it, get into it. Now we're gonna let that cook for the rest of the five minutes and then flip it over for the last five minutes. And we're gonna scrape that mashed potatoes off that mason jar because we ain't wasting no food, okay? We ain't wasting no food. And then we're gonna throw that in the sink and wash it off later. Now get your spatula and flip it and you're gonna cook it for five more minutes. So. All together, you're cooking the salmon for 10 minutes. On all together, five minutes each side. And you can add a little bit more butter before you flip it if you want, if there's not enough left in the pan. But I just went ahead and switched it around and then flipped it. So if you want my butter, do that. Speaking of butter, here we go. This is the butter that I'm gonna add to the mashed potatoes. I put about um, one to one and a half tablespoons full because I only use about four potatoes, four red potatoes. And then when you're going to add your dairy or your dairy substitute, I use almond milk because I have a dairy sensitivity. And now that five minutes is up and it's time for you to flip. Well, actually take your salmon out the pan and put on your plate, honey. And then we're going to put a little bit more milk because I didn't put enough. I, I don't measure y'all. I just season to my ancestors tell me to stop or until the Holy Spirit say, that's enough. You don't need hypertension. But yes, you don't want no dry mashed potatoes. So you know how much milk you need once you look at it. So I poured a little bit more. And now I put my garlic salt in there. Oh, excuse me, coronavirus. My garlic salt, open it. And then I put a little bit more salt because you know, potatoes, they just need a little extra lemon and they take a little bit more seasoning to get it to your liking. But go ahead and mix that mug, mix it, and taste it before you add more salt to make sure it's not too salty. So that's what I'm doing now. Don't use the spoon, y'all. Coronavirus. 
Put it on your hand and then taste it. Don't be contaminating nobody's food, especially if you're feeding them. So now I'm scooping my serving on my plate. And then I'm going to put my little sesame seeds on top. And look at that. Look at it. It's delicious. Deliciousness. Don't it look pretty? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Scrum dilly umptious. Them scrumptious goodies. And then, yeah, y'all, if y'all liked it, please give this a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you can get more videos as such. And I share this video. This was another day where I made salmon with sweet potatoes and it was delicious. Thank y'all for watching.